Madrid, the most Spanish of Spain's cities, was once a small Castilian town. But as Madrid grew up, she became the nerve center of a mighty empire, becoming the spiritual and political heart of Spain. A meeting point for centuries, Madrid has an intoxicating blend of tradition and modernity. And their blend of sangria ain't that bad either. With its shops and cafes, music and dancing, museums and galleries, plazas and architecture, it's gonna be kinda hard to do just 10 things. It's time to vamos! Madrilianos sometimes call themselves gatos, cats. And at night they come alive and search for that next yummy morsel. Yes, so we are going to a tapas bar. Whew, lots of food. Lots of food. I hope you're hungry. Little plates of delicious local bites that keep you on your toes for more. Well, the idea behind Insiders Madrid is, as the name suggests, to make you feel like an insider when you come to Madrid. The tapas tour is a great way for people to feel immediately involved in the city. Our next spot specialized in jamon, or ham. But since I'm vegetarian, we focused on drinking. So, Kim, how do you fancy trying sangria now you're in Spain? Now we're talking. Okay, sangria it is. It's a mixture of things. It's got red wine in it, it's got lemonade, it's got a little bit of vermouth. Chilies are my staple in this spot. I think I was winning the competition of who could handle more. One Spanish thing we have to do, throw it on the floor. You go into a bar and it will be filled with papers, filled with... Joanna Wivel is a great ambassador for Madrid's local customs. So we're going to give you really a survivor's guide to tapas hopping. How to ask for the tapas, how to become a part of the city by, by talking to the people and really getting stuck in from the word go. To cool our palettes a bit, I wandered over to yet another joint. That's right. Salud. So what are we drinking? Well, this is vermouth. After an evening of tapas hopping, I could oh, well, easily I say there were many tapas. moments when I felt and like a like seasoned madriliano. For a bar of this style, was you'd have the name of the owner outside. Another reason why I brought you here, Kim, was that Cervantes lived above here. He wrote the second half of Don Quixote here. Okay? So when you read that second half, just have a little think about our vermouth in Casa Alberto.